Just caught the end of it there. Kirsty did an amazing job. But um, the delay between us and Juma is slightly longer. That's okay. She'll roar again for us. What was making that sound? Where are your cobbles? Where are your little ones, Mum? Oh, did that not taste very nice? <laughs> that expression on her face. Oh, my feet smell. Oh, she's beautiful. How's that? Lion, Mvula, and those cheetah, all in one afternoon. And of course, we're sitting now, I can't see her anymore with my own eyes. The infrared does an amazing job of allowing us to view them at night. Now I'm going to stick with her tonight, I think. I'm sure she will head off and reunite with the rest of the females. She's ignoring the males roaring completely, and the males are actually getting further and further away from us. <clears throat> mm. How are those teeth? And of course, a lion roaring never gets old. It is the most extraordinary sound. A lot of people are saying it never ceases to amaze you and that they uh, that you all just love that sound. I do too. And sitting with her and feeling it vibrate through your chest is a special experience. And what's interesting about her roar is, and Viam and I both came to this independent conclusion, her sort of, her tailing end roars, I've forgotten what they're called, the oof, oof, oof sound at the end. She, they go on for a really long time. Longer than I've heard other lionesses do that for. I wonder if that's a Mara thing or just unique to this lioness. Or unique to the situation. We'll have to compare and contrast. Okay, sleepy lioness, let's go. Let's let you rest and send all of you guys back across to Mvula.